Hey guys, it's John here from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the channel. I recently got some new guitars, two ESP LTD Phoenixes, one Phoenix Black Metal and one Phoenix Arctic Metal as well. My favorite LTD models, basically the single pickup, stealthy looking Phoenix models. I just absolutely love those guitars. So I have a bunch of them now, six in total to be precise. And four of them have the single pickup design. Two of them are flat black and two of them have the Arctic metal finish. I figured why not get two more of my favorite LTD guitars just to have a bigger arsenal of tone basically. Swap out some pickups and have them all have a different tone basically. Sounded very exciting to me at least. I made a dual new guitar day video on those guitars on the channel recently which you can watch up here or down here if you're interested by the way. It's just me babbling on a little bit about how awesome those guitars are. And in this video, we're basically gonna do a simple comparison between a bunch of different pickup types in those guitars. Some pickups were played in the exact same guitars and other in another guitar, but basically they're all the exact same model. So the same wood types, the same construction and stuff like that. So the sound between these models is gonna be very similar indeed. Mahogany body, ebony fretboard, neck through design, 25.5 inch scale. The same strings, the same gauges, the same tunings, so drop C for all of the guitars. So before we start with the actual comparison, let me give you a quick rundown of all the pickups that you'll get to hear. A Seymour Duncan JB and a Nazgul pickup. And those were played and recorded in the exact same guitar, so one of the Phoenix Black Metals. Also a Fishman Fluence Modern pickup on both voicings, so the active and the passive voicing. And that pickup is basically in the other Phoenix Black Metal guitar. And those guitars sound very similar, obviously. So the differences between the guitars themselves will be quite negligible in this test. And then we've got the active EMG 81 TW, which is basically an 81, but with the coil split option. And then the regular old EMG 81, the classic one that we all know and love. And those are both in white, but I doubt that the color will affect the tone. And those pickups were played in the Phoenix Arctic metal guitars. So the white guitars. And I basically wanted to see how big of a difference there is between these pickups because they're supposed to sound very similar, but I don't think that they do, to be honest. I do think that there are differences in the tone. And I also did some research on the internet about that as well. And finally, also in one of the Arctic metal guitars, we're gonna check out a Seymour Duncan Distortion SH6. That's a pickup that I've never tried before in the past, so I'm quite excited about that. And the EMG 81 TW and the Duncan Distortion were played in the exact same guitar, by the way. All the pickups and sounds will be going through the exact same Helix native presets, by line 6 of course. First we'll get a broken up clean, sort of mild crunchy tone, and then a heavy tone. And they're all going through the exact same York Audio Impulse response from the MES 412 OS package. Mic Mix 01 to be precise, one of my favorite, it's tried and true. And yeah, so we're going to start off with some clean stuff and then various heavy riffs. Some simple heavy riffs that hopefully will allow you to hear the differences between these pickups quite well. Let's go ahead and take a listen to the comparison. Here we go.
interesting. They all have their own unique voice, obviously, so it's quite interesting to hear the differences. I like the Seymour Duncan JB in that Phoenix black metal, but in the end, I'm quite happy that I went with the Nazgul. It sounds a little bit better in that guitar, in my opinion. The low end is a bit more tight. It does sound huge still, but it's just a bit of a tighter low end with more definition. And the mid-range has a very nice growl as well, without getting harsh. The Fishman Fluence Modern pickup also has a cool tone. The active voicing isn't always to my liking, so I can't use that for everything. But it sounds great with more sort of loose sounding amplifiers. It's a bit cold sounding and it does sound kind of like as if it was boosted by a Tube Screamer or something like that. But the passive voicing does sound quite organic indeed. And it does sound quite similar to the Seymour Duncan JB. The EMG pickups also sound pretty cool in those Arctic metal models, I must say. But to be honest, I did prefer the regular old EMG 81 over the TW. The sound is basically just a bit more forward and in your face with a bit of a tighter low end. And the TW sounds a bit more fat and round overall, which can be great in some guitars. But in this model, I preferred the pickup with a little bit more cut, to be honest. And I don't think that I'm really going to miss that coil split sound anyway. The Seymour Duncan Distortion sound quite cool in the Arctic Metal one as well, I must say. So that's a really nice surprise. Nice and bright and cutting and aggressive with a cool and tight yet big low end as well. A very cool pickup. Now let's also check out that comparison, but this time with just the isolated guitars. Here we go.
All right, that's all for this comparison. I thought it was very interesting. And to be honest, I'm quite glad with the final pickup choices that I made for these guitars. I quite like the Nazgul in one of the Phoenix black metal guitars. It just fits that guitar really well, as well as the Fishman Fluence Modern in the other black one. And then the EMG 81 in one of the white ones, as well as the Seymour Duncan Distortion in the other one. So it's a great variety of pickups across these four guitars. Of course, let me know in the comments down below which one were your favorites and why, because I'd love to know. Please also drop a like and subscribe down below as that really helps out the channel. I would hugely appreciate that, so thank you very much. And you can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Have a great summer, everyone, and I hope to see you guys very soon on the channel. Thank you and cheers.